here at Shalanda from Big ID here with a few must-have cybersecurity tips related to cloud data security. Cloud computing has changed the game of where and how you store your data. The cloud reduces costs, improves collaboration, and provides better scalability for your business. But unfortunately, the cloud also poses a higher risk of data leaks and breaches. This is why IT and security leaders consider Cloud Data Security Posture Management, or DSPM for short, a top priority when protecting their data across the cloud. So what is DSPM? DSPM helps organizations automatically identify sensitive and regulated data in the public cloud and SaaS, making it easier and more efficient for them to reduce their risk of security breaches and non-compliance with regulations. DSPM comes down to four main pillars. First up, know your data. You can't protect what you can't see. The first step is to discover and classify all of your cloud data with accurate context. Identifying what it is and where it is, including unknown and dark data, will help you piece together a complete and accurate data inventory. This is a critical foundation for assessing your current data security posture and making decisions in data protection. Number two, highlighting access to your data. After identifying your sensitive data, it's essential to map out who has access to that data and ensure it is only accessible by authorized users. Having a record of user access to highly sensitive data will allow you to gain insights into where you need to prioritize tighter security controls. This helps reduce your risk of data leaks due to unauthorized or open access from internal or external threats. Number three, monitoring and protecting your data. Your organization must always keep an up-to-date inventory of all their data and monitor it for potential violations of security and compliance. Automated data policies must be in place to alert on high-risk vulnerabilities so you can proactively take action. In order to respond in real time, you should have automated workflows set up to protect against exposure, whether that's through support tickets or access control. Number four, assessing and improving your security posture. With your data constantly changing, it's important that your DSPM strategy continues to evolve with these changes. Having a system in place to score your security risk and report on findings will ensure that you always have an accurate picture of your data security posture. To make DSPM a faster and easier process, organizations should focus on reducing the amount of sensitive data they have in the first place. Limiting the collection and retention of data to only what is necessary will minimize your attack surface and save resources. With these four key pillars in mind, your organization can better protect your data in the cloud. We know that this may seem like a daunting task, but it's not. That's why we made Small ID, a cloud-native data security solution designed to help you automate DSPM. Well, that wraps up this week's cybersecurity tip. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to all of our social channels for more tips like this. Until next time, I'm Shalanda. Be sure to head over to the link below and learn how you can automate data protection with Small ID.